Hey, with question two, what we've got is a fraction. Well, some fractions, and we want to express it in the simplest form. Okay, so remember that's equivalent of if I can get this pen working, three over four times a thirds plus two over seven. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually deal with what's in the brackets first. Okay, now obviously these fractions are different from each other in terms of one's about thirds, others about seven. So we really want to get them in the actual same format as each other. Okay, so we've got a third plus two over seven. Okay, so we can't really add these together. So what we want to do is just find a common denominator. So find a factor, a number that 3 can go into and also 7 can go into and more often than not we can actually just times this fraction by this is this one's denominator and just multiply this fraction by this one's denominator. So what we essentially do is we're going to actually multiply a third just by 7. Okay, so we've got multiply the numerator by the denominator and also the denominator by the other one's denominator. Okay, and plus, and we do the exact same. Okay, so we're going to multiply the numerator by the other fraction's denominator and its denominator by again the other fraction's denominator. Okay, so that's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, and it's going to be 3 times 7, and again that's 21. Now that's going to give us, okay, 7 plus 6. Is 13 and that's over 21. Okay, so that's simplified that quite a lot. Okay, so still not finished because what we're actually after is three quarters of 13 over 21. So what we're then going to do is we're going to say, well, what's 3 over 4 times 13 times 21? Now, if we expand that out, so that's going to be 3 times. 13, and that's going to be over 4 times 21. Now, if you actually dis multiply this out just now, you'd actually get 39 over 84, okay? Now, that wouldn't be your final answer, because you could simplify this. What you might find, and the kind of pressure of the exam, I mean, you could have a wee think about what number can go into both of these, or we could just look at this in a wee bit more detail, so it's 3 over 13, and we could actually think, is there any is there any two numbers we can multiply together to give you 21, and we'll try and find one of the numbers, which is the same as a 3, because we could maybe cancel these out, so if we actually go 4 times, so well, 3 times 7 equals 21. Okay, so that's the same as 4 times 21 is the same as 4 times 3 times 7. Okay, and what we can then do is we can then say, well, we can cancel that 3, can cancel it with that 3. So what we've got left is we've got 13 over 28. And that is this in its simplest form. Okay, so deal with what's in the brackets, see if you can find a common denominator, more often than not, as you multiply one fraction by the other fraction's denominator, and vice versa, and see if once you've got your fraction the way you want it, see if you can actually expand one of the numbers to hopefully incorporate one of the numbers above, so you can just cancel each other out, but that should be that question answer.